Hi everyone, I'm going to do a review on broccoli today. It was gotten out of a restaurant called Carlos on Metropolitan Area Forest Hills. I usually don't eat broccoli because I don't like it, but when they make it, it they do something to where it tastes so good. So I, I've been getting it for a while now and I wanted to do a review on it and give my opinion to you on my YouTube channel. And it comes with garlic and oil and um, it's really good, so I'm gonna, as I'm eating it, I'm going to tell you how good it is and, all, and maybe talk about other things too. So this is what it looks like before I start eating it, if you could see it. It, lo it looks good and it's, it is really good. Like I said, I don't usually eat broccoli. I wouldn't even eat one piece. I mean, I could put one piece in my mouth and say I don't even want no more. But when they make it, it's, it's really good. I don't know what the trick is that they, they do to it. But I, go, I could go most other restaurants. I don't like the broccoli, but when they make it, Carlos... It's, it seems to be really delicious to me. I even recommend it to a, my friends. Yeah, that was good. You know, I don't believe how good it is. Most people I don't think really like broccoli. And uh, the flower, the flower pot is even more tasty than the stem. I like it better. But I eat the whole thing anyway because both is, you know, it's just relatively relatively on the same level of tasting. You could get it without garlic and oil. And it to me, it don't taste as good, but it still tastes good. But when you put garlic and oil on it, when they do it, I should say, it tastes really good. You know, really good. I mean, I'll give, I know where the stars, I'll give it, I'll give it an eight out of 10. I always say that, to, think that to myself, I, I, it's an eight, 8 out of 10. That's how good it is. So if you haven't tried the broccoli yet, you need to go, get it over there and try it yourself if you want to eat vegetables. A few years ago, I wasn't ever, I wasn't a vegan, I was vegetarian, I ended up getting pizza. I don't want, you know, I have pizza over this, I guess. Sort of, but I mean, I don't really like that. I don't like pizza anymore anyway because, I mean, the quality of the pizza is no good any. It don't really taste good anyway, so that's why I would say it's up in air. If you want to slice, if you're, not, you're vegetarian or you, you don't mind eating cheese or whatever else that comes with the pizza, it's up in air. You could choose either one. But if you should have no problem of eating broccoli if you choose not to eat pizza. I mean, if they have a vegan pizza over there, like Screamers Pizzeria does, then I'll probably get a slice of pizza, but not, not to say I won't never eat this again, because if I'm in the mood for it, I'll, I'll get it again. Yeah, I'm going to put the address on beneath the vlog and tell you where it is. If, if you have any neighbor, you could go there and try it out for you. For self and they, they also got all for I'm sure the pizza I haven't had their pizza for a long time because like I said I was vegan for nearly four years now well it is like four years it's sometimes I, I never like I told you all the vlogs if you listen or watch them I, I turned vegan like for like 2015 in October November I just didn't you know I wasn't sure if I was sticking with it or not and I can't remember when I exactly the day I you know decided to do it and I didn't write it down because like I said I wasn't sure I was gonna stick with it and I ended up staying staying with it but I know it, it was toward the end of 2015 so you figure it's four years now being it's October but I mean if it ain't four years yet next month November it'll be four years it should be but um like I said they they have other good food there. So if you're interested, you got eggplant sandwiches, you can get it without the cheese. If you're vegan, I think that when they make the eggplant, they bread it so that the egg, the bread itself could come with egg whites. So you got to be careful what we, you know, what you exactly get there. I did ask them if you're going to ever have vegan pizza. They said they're not too sure. I don't think they even know how, I mean, I told them about, I think I told them about the cheese one, the type of cheese. I forgot if I exactly told them, but I think I did tell them about it, but they don't even remember. They got to really, you know, search for what they want and they make vegan pizza. And I think they, they could make money off it, if you ask me. I know I'll be getting it if it tastes good.
Yeah, I'm back again. I had to go get a napkin and my water. I forgot about it. So I got my water, avian water, which I always advertise for them for nothing. Maybe it'll tell me to sponsor them someday. We'll see. Okay, back to the broccoli. Um, yeah, my father's came home with broccoli rib. I'm going to do that, eat that afterward, but I'm going to do a separate vlog on it so I don't go too far. And to give my opinion on that too. Right now, I'm going to uh, continue to eat the broccoli, which is, like I said, it's really delicious. You got to give it a try. It's starting to cool down. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not as hot as it was, but it still, it still tastes good. But I think the hotter it is, the bit more tasty the broccoli is. I have a, um, someone just commented on another vlog I did, the prior one. It says, she could have sworn I said the South. I'm from the South. I'm not from the North. I was, I was born in New York, and I live in New York right now. Maybe someday I'll leave it, but I don't know where I'm going. And I believe me, I, I want to get rid of my accent. Like, you know, it's not, you know, I was told by someone years ago that I have a New York accent. You know, it's not, it's just, it's, just no, it's no stronger than anyone else. It's like, it's just like on the same level as most other people. Some people got strong accents and... They know this, you know, concerning a New York accent. Mine's just like, I guess in the middle. I don't know what to say. But I'm trying to get rid of it. But it's hard. You're doing something on your life. And your subconscious took over. And you got to get trained. Yeah, your subconscious into taking your, you know, taking over where you automatically talk without putting any effort into how, how to talk without talking to you. I guess you talk through your nose and say the words wrong too and all that sort of stuff. Well, I think I'm much better than years ago, if you ask me. I'm not sure. But if I never get rid of it, it's all right, I guess. I'm not sure if I should put the broccoli in the oven to warm it up some more. I'll be right back and talk more about it. I guess I'll just finish it. It's not, it's not hot like it was, but it's it's still good. But uh, like I said, the hotter it is, the more it, the the more tasty it is. And it's still good though, believe it or not. Being it's good, good, you know, it's not as hot. I had to go get myself another. On my last vlog, I talked about. Getting night guards for my teeth, for you know, to my clear lines comfortable. Because last night I had to put my night guard in the bottom piece, where it'll keep my teeth in place. Or you know, as I'm waiting for my, my last three months of the clear lines, and I it felt looser. I'm thinking to myself, I'm just wasting my time. I don't think it's gonna really work. Where it'll keep, it'll keep my teeth in place. The first few months I did the clear lines, it, it made me be thirty percent better. So the woman from, from Smart Direct Club says, get a night guard melted down to the shape of your teeth and it'll keep it in place until the new clear lines come. I mean, they had six months, but they had to readjust them because it wasn't working out. The, those last three months of the clear lines. I was into the fourth month and those, and, the, and within the fourth month, the, the clear lines started breaking and stuff like that. So she, think, she thinks it was like my, one of my teeth were being stubborn and it was cracking, I don't know. At first, I, I was, I told him I was cleaning with alcohol in my clear line. So that's what the reason was. It wasn't, I didn't even use, I didn't even use the alcohol on, on these. And it, the last one, the very last one I used, I didn't use alcohol on it, you know, and, and it still broke. And then, not, not that it was the very last one. It was the second last one. Then it broke. And then the woman told, some smart dark club told me, but the next one, and that very same day, being it was premature to put them in, it, 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 it cracked in two places. So she says, keep them in until the new one's coming, and it'll keep it, you know, it may not straighten your teeth out the way you should. Those clear lines, those two, it was like two weeks out to keep them in. 
But keep them in the, for being they're waiting for these to keep them like four or five weeks until the, those other ones come in. They're cracked. I put the fire ones in, which were cracked already, and they were cracked. And when I took them off Wednesday night, and that was it. I had called the next day and tell them about it. And they told me to get these night night you know guards. You know these are what they, what they look like. It's like night guards to keep your teeth from grinding, but actually, you, could, you know, you could use them for, um, you could use them to keep your teeth more in line until the, the night, the clay line has come. But the guy, I, when I called the guy up, I hate to repeat myself because I said this in an auto vlog, but I don't want to re sound redundant, but to let you in on again, the guy from the company that this, these night guards come from, he said that it's no, it's not tested, you know, or proven that yeah, yeah, it'll keep your teeth in alignment. But then the woman at Smart Direct Club says, yeah, keep, um, melt them down, it'll do, 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 you know, it'll keep it basically there. So until they come, do that. And I didn't wear them last night because it, was, it felt so loose, like I said. But I wanted to, I got another piece of it, it cost $29 and change after tax. These these ones you see right here were twenty four twenty four ninety nine. I got them all greens, and the other one I got it was at CVS. It was twenty nine. It was twenty six ninety nine, I think. And then it was after taxes, and so it was twenty nine dollars and change. And then yeah, you know, it's expensive, I guess. Well, just one. I, I imagine that's only coming with one piece. This, these only came with one piece, and that's twenty five dollars. So if you got like a problem grinding your teeth that night, it's gonna cost you money. It says in instruction, last six months. And it's getting colder and colder. But it still, it still, it still tastes good. Believe me, I can't believe I like like the broccoli you make. I would never in my life thought. I was gonna enjoy broccoli, and I do. You gotta give it a try and find out for yourself. Like I'll give you the address beneath this vlog when I'm done, and give it a try. If you're in the neighborhood or live here, you know Carlos been around for years. I think it's been around since 1981 or something like that. You don't even have to wait for me. You just look up and it says Carlos Murillo's Pizzeria. You know, Carlos Pizzeria and Mervell should come right up. The thing here is, I, I like their broccoli. Uh, I'll be honest, not to put any of my restaurants down, I like their broccoli the best, but the broccoli rib I'll get somewhere else in another pizzeria. Because I like their broccoli red better. But the broccoli that I have it right here, the uh, Carlos makes it the best. You know, I like I know I shouldn't be eating broccoli. I think um it's uh, broccoli is not really no good for your thyroid. It, it causes goitroids. But I mean I think if you eat it once in a once a month or something like that, you'll be alright. Don't eat it every day. I don't recommend that. Even if you love broccoli, don't eat it every day. You don't know like uh, any food you don't eat any day. Like, you know, I'll I'll eat my you know, uh, bagel with, with light life soy, tempered bacon, which is soy and stuff like that. I'm gonna eat it three, three, four days. I don't recommend that you eat soy every day. It's, I don't believe it's, it's good. I don't I mean it's not good for your period. But if you're gonna eat it, and don't eat it no more. Then you, you know, then where it's gonna affect your body. Maybe eat it three times a week, something like that. And, you know, a little bit, and not you know, eat so much of it where it's gonna affect your whole body. You know, you told your whole life, rock is good for you, rock is good for you, and of course it's uh, choice. So, I don't know. Yeah, that's good. I mean, it's good for you in one way, it's better for you another way, just like every other thing, I guess. But like Dr. Moore says, you know, he's a guy who, talk, he's on YouTube, he, talk, he talks about being healthy, and he's a holistic doctor. He says vegetables aren't cleansing. They're, they may be nutritious, but they're not cleansing. It doesn't clean your system out, your lymph system out. You need to fruits. They're stringent where you become healthy and and get rid of whatever problems you might have. I 
of all dyes, I think it's the best dye in the world, if you ask me. I mean, the only thing better than a, a, a raw dye or let's say a fruit dye is is a fasting dye. When you just drink, drink water and you don't eat, eat nothing else, I think that your body will heal, heal itself the fastest when there's no food in there at all. I mean, I'm not saying fasting forever for the rest of your life. I mean, fasting, you know, three, four days a week, maybe tops, and then you go off it. Or not, you know, not even necessarily fast every week. But I mean, I, I, I fast every every week for for 75 hours, like I told you, you know, it logs. So, I've been doing it so long now, I, I just don't want to stop. And I'm happy too. I don't want to eat it. You know, I'm happy I'm not eating junk, junk food every day. I feel better like this. It's just the same way I think it became psychological too. Where I just don't want to eat. I mean, I'm not saying I get a little hunger pains here and there and I got to fight it off. But I just, when I, just, when I think I want to eat something, I just can't put it in my mouth because I've been doing it so long. And actually, you know, from right here on Plant Based News, that's a YouTube channel, people are getting so healthy from a plant-based diet, like who, who healed themselves within a year and, and or in four months. And if I'm, you know, if, if that's working, I hopefully the first thing I'm doing is working too. Even though I am eating some junk food that I should be eating, like, you know, let's say I have potato chips or, or a piece of bread, which bread isn't really no good, but I am fasting for 75 hours, which is over three days. So hopefully it's doing something. I'm not saying it's going to do as much as someone that's completely whole whole plant-based but hopefully you know it's like 25 percent out of 100 percent if they get 100 percent i'll get 25 percent i'll be happy for that if i don't i don't oh well and to think about it, i keep saying thinking to myself i'm not gonna i don't know if i'm gonna ever do it i want to bring up one more day of fasting where it's four days but i don't know i keep thinking like you know it's too hard to do or it's just i don't know what to do because from where i'm here people getting so healthy from plant-based diet i want to Keep doing do it one more day, maybe it helped me even better. Raw we'll cedar, yeah, that's good. I mean, I'm almost just about now, oh, I got about 30 percent left. It is a big piece, can't fit in my mouth. I mean, anyone that could stick to a plant-based diet and eat no uh, breads or nuts and, you know, seeds like that, just eat fruit, maybe vegetables, you know, it's, that's good for them. I'm happy for them. I'm glad they're sticking with it. Good. To be honest, though, I believe people that said they're fruitarians, they all even said, when they say, when they said fruitarians, they do mean they eat some nuts and seeds and stuff like that too at times. So whenever you hear a person say they're food Italian, they probably do, do eat nuts and seeds. Which, is, you know, if you want to see, see it at that level, it's, 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 it's all right with me. I don't care. I mean, if I was a fruit time and had seeds, let's say 20, 20% seeds and nuts and 80% fruit and vegetables, I, I'd be happy with that. But if I'm going to eat nuts and seeds, like, you know, like really eating it where it's going to pollute your system, I don't want to do that. If I could keep it at 80% fruits and vegetables and 20% nuts and seeds, I think I'd be all right, I think. I'm not sure. But I'm starting slowly, like, I'm surprised I could, you know, I'm doing fasting for 75 hours, like I said. At least I'm sticking with that. Hopefully I bring it up one more day. And when I do go off it, I like to, just that night when I do go off it, I just want to eat, drink or, or eat fruit. The next day I'll take it from there if I eat, have a piece of bagel or whatever. At least I went four days without eating it, uh, uh, junk food.
Yeah, it was really good, this broccoli. You got to give it a try, like I said, for a third time or so. Go, you know, if you're in town, give them a try if, you, if that's what you want. Yeah, I think it's worth the money. All right. Put two more forks and that's it. All right, um, I'm all done over here. I'm just about done with my broccoli. I just don't want to finish it because there's nothing else I want to talk about. I just want to say it was delicious. And you got to give it a try. And and if you ever go to a restaurant, like I said, order it and, and, and you give your own opinion on it. And I want to thank you for listening if you came this far. And even if you li only listened two minutes or whatever it was, I still thank you. And if you're not subscribed to me, please subscribe and hit that bell so you know when my vlogs are on YouTube. And, um, and like always in my vlogs, think positive so you can feel positive. And, yeah, and through that, you'll even, I think through positive and loving yourself, you'll heal even more faster than just eating healthy food alone. All right? And remember the good things that happen to you when you're in that zone of thinking positive. Okay, thank you. Bye.